Okay, now for um, February, March 2019, paper four, variant two. Um, so starting the paper four now, this is question number one. And we're told about two people, Amol and Priya, delivered 645 parcels in the ratio Amol to Priya is 11 to four. Calculate the number of parcels that Amol delivers. Okay, so there's your traditional way of doing this question, okay? where you see that the 60, 645 is the total number of parcels that both of them all together um, delivered. However, <coughs> um, Amal's delivered more than Priya and it's in the ratio 11 to 4. So what we can do is we can say, okay, let's find out the total sum of those um, parts. So you have Amal has 11 parts and Priya has four parts that gives you 15 parts altogether and then you can do it in a number of ways you can say okay so Amal he's or she's delivered 11 out of 15 parts of 645 okay and then that will give you your answer straight away so you have 11 out of 45 sorry 11 out of 15 times 645 and that gives you 473 parcels. That's how much Amal delivered. You could also do it in another way. You could have said, okay, uh, there's 15 parts altogether and each part is worth 645 over 15. Okay, so you could have worked out that in this way. You said 645 divided by 15 gives you 43 and that's each part. Amal has 11 parts, so it's 11 times 43, which also gives you the same answer. Alternatively, one of the ways that some people who um, are more visual kind of learners, okay, they would say, okay, let's see, Amal and Priya. Let's represent Amal deliveries with 11 equally spaced or equally sized boxes. I'm going to draw them all. They won't be equal because not that good. So one, two, three. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And Priya has four boxes. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. So in total, that's eleven boxes, and that's four boxes, that's fifteen boxes. And each one of these boxes will have, okay, altogether there's 600, there's 15 boxes, okay, which represent altogether 645 parcels. So each one of these boxes is going to have 645 over 15, which is um, 43 items in them. So you have 43 in this, 43 in this, 43 in this. Each of these has 43, so it's 11 times 43. Okay, so I want to have 11 times 43, which gives you 473. So these are basically three different ways of doing the same question. And um, certain students prefer certain ways, so I just put all of them. Okay, now, part B. Amal drives his truck on a, at an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour. He leaves at 7 a.m. and arrives at 11.15 p.m. 11.15, sorry, which is also a.m. Calculate the distance he drives. Okay, so we know that the speed, average speed equals the total distance traveled over the time taken. So we want to find the distance. So if you rearrange this formula, you'll have the distance is equal to the speed multiplied by the time. So what we need to do is to find the speed, okay, which we know is 50 kilometers per hour. And we've got to multiply that by the time, okay. Now the time we know, but we have to work it out in terms of how many hours that is. So you could work that out in your head. You can say 7 a.m. to 11.15 a.m. That's like four hours and 15 minutes. Four hours and 15 minutes, okay? So you know 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So that's like 4.25 hours. Okay, the numbers I gave us are pretty easy here. So the time is 4.25 hours. So if I did speed times, um, speed is kilometers per hour, sorry. If I did speed times time, Okay, I'll get the, the distance. So the distance is the speed, which is 50 kilometers per hour times 4.25 okay, hours. That will leave you with your answer as in kilometers. So it's 50 times 4.25. 50 
multiplied by 4.25, which gives you 425 over 2, which is 212.5 kilometers. 212.5 kilometers. Okay, that's our answer. There's no rounding here because this is an exact answer. The question, if you read the beginning of the paper, it tells you very clearly that all, all, um, <clears throat> So it says, if the degree of accuracy is not specified in the question, and if the answer is not exact, give the answer to three significant figures, and so on and so forth. So if, if the answer is not exact, okay, now this is an exact answer. Okay, the answer we got here is an exact answer. That's right, 212.5, and it didn't continue on any more than that. Okay, so that's an exact answer. So we don't round that, okay, if it's something like length or whatever. If it's currency, I would put 0.50 it should be given for non-integers to two decimal places okay that's part b then part c says priya drives her van a distance of 54 kilometers she leaves at 10 55 and arrives at 12 38. okay so now the times they've given us are a bit more uh, you know um, problematic it's still not too difficult to do it in your head but if you're not too confident with doing this in your head there are ways of doing that okay so we've got to calculate the average speed again speed is you know, um, her average speed is distance this time, it's distance over time. Okay, last time we had to find the distance, now we had to find um, the speed of this other person. So distance divided by time. So we know the distance is 54 kilometers, that's not a problem. Okay, um, now we've got to work out what the time is, all right, in hours, because we want the answer in kilometers per hour. So now, one, of, one nice little way of uh, finding time is to use this type of division, uh, subtraction, sorry. So we have 12 hours and 38 minutes. That's, that's the hours and that's the minutes, the, the hours column and the minutes column. So 12, 38, and if I take away from that, the time that they started, which is 10, 55, all right, that's gonna give me the amount of time between those two times. So you got, 12 hours and 38 minutes. Now, if I try to take 55 from 38, I can't because right? this is less. So just like in normal uh, subtraction, I've got to borrow one hour from here. So this 12 hours now will become 11 hours because I have to borrow one hour. But that one hour, when it moves to the minutes column, I don't make, you know, I don't make it 39. I make it 38 plus 60. Okay, you've got 38 minutes plus 60 minutes. Okay, so I shouldn't really cross that off. Let me just... Go back a couple of spaces, yeah. So this becomes, this one hour that we've borrowed from the hour column will go into the minutes column. That's 38 plus 60, okay? That gives you 98. So this becomes 98, okay, uh, minutes. And 98 minus 55 is going to give you 43. And 11 minus 10 gives you one. Okay, so 98 minus 455 gives you 43. And 11 minus 10 gives you one. So we know that the time taken is one hour and 43 minutes. Okay, now we want to convert this into just hours. So we can say that the time, okay, let me write it over here. The time is equal to one point something. Now we've got to change 43 minutes into hours. So we have to divide it by 60. Okay, so it's, if we do 43 divided by 60, 43 divided by 60, it will give us, um, 43 divided by 60, okay, that gives us 0 0.711, I'll leave it as 43 over 60, okay, so the time is 1 and 43 over 60, okay, which you can, we can write that as, 103 over 60 will be maybe easy for us to use to give us exact values so the speed is going to be the distance which is 54 okay sorry about that okay the distance which is 54 divided by the time now the time as it's come out as um you know sorry this is 43 over 60 which is one hour and 43 over 60 gives you 103 over 60 so and you're dividing by 103 over 60. Okay, so that's the distance divided by the time. Now remember, when you're dividing two fractions, um, you take the second fraction and you write it as its reciprocal. So when you're dividing with fractions, it's like 54 over 1, and it becomes times 60 over 103. Okay, 
and then that should give us our um, speed in kilometers per hour okay the speed in kilometers per hour so we're going to have 54 multiplied by 60 over 103 whoops what have I done here it's 54 multiplied by 60 divided by 103 okay and that gives you your answer of 31.456 so 31.456 continues so it's going to be 31.5 kilometers per hour is the average speed for Priya okay so part A was dealing with numbers which are a lot easier okay and part B got slightly more complicated okay because you had to work out more difficult times and distance you know um, gaps between times and also you had to work out um, in terms of the speeds and changing hours minutes to hours and such in a more complicated way okay but it's all pretty simple if you just follow some basic rules now part d says priya has 50 identical parcels each parcel has a mass of 17 kilograms correct to the nearest kilogram find the upper bound for the total mass of the 50 parcels so this question is dealing with upper and lower bounds okay so you have 50 identical parcels each parcel has a mass of 17 kilograms correct to the nearest kilogram okay so that means 17 kilograms correct to the nearest kilogram so the highest it could be is 17.5 and the lowest it can be with 16.5 because it says to so the nearest kilogram one kilogram so you divide it by two that gives you 0 0.5 so the upper bound is the number they gave you plus that amount and the lower bound is seven is that number they gave you minus that amount okay so now find the upper bound of the total mass of the 50 parcels so we take the upper bound of the mass of one parcel and we multiply that by 50 okay so you have 17.5 times 50 17.5 multiplied by 50 and that gives you 875 so 875 okay kilograms is the upper bound of the total mass of 50 parcels okay okay now for question number one from february march 2019 paper four variant two um, this is part e 67 out of the 645 parcels are damaged on the journey calculate the percentage of parcels that are damaged okay the percentage of parcels that are damaged so what you need is you need to make a fraction out of these two numbers so it says 67 out of 645 so when you're making a fraction out of these two numbers the one after the word of is always the denominator so 645 is going to be the denominator and 67 is going to be the numerator okay and that fraction you want to change it into a percentage okay so 67 of the parcels are damaged out of 645 so percentage would be 67 over 645 to turn it into a percentage you have to multiply by 100 and the unit will be percent okay so here we have whoops what's going on here here we have my calculator okay so we have 67 over 645 times 100 okay which gives you 10.38759 10 10.3875 continues on like that now we must write our answers to 3SF if it's like something that is not exact. So that's 10.4%. 10.4% of the uh, parcels are damaged on the journey. Okay, uh, part F, F part one, 29 parcels each have a value of $68. By writing each of these numbers correct to one significant figure, find an estimate for the total value of these 29 parcels. So you have 29, okay, which when you write it to 1SF is 30 because 1SF the first significant figure is in the place of the tens so that means you need to round this to the nearest 10 to make it into uh, to express it as one significant figure 
and we have $68 is a value. Okay, again, to the nearest 10, it's going to be 70. Okay, so um, an estimate will be found by doing 30 parcels each cost $70, which gives you $2,100. Um, $2,100. 3 times 7 is 21 plus the 2, two uh, 0. So $2,100. $2,100 is an estimate of the value of these parcels. So that's how you would estimate something in your head if you were going to calculate, just to give you a rough idea of how much it's going to cost. So if you get something like 29 times 6, all right, that's almost like 30 times 70. Okay, so it's around 2100 Now, without doing any calculation, complete the statement. The actual total value of these 29 parcels is less than the answer to part F1. Why do you think that is? Well, obviously, it looks like we have rounded, all of these have been rounded up. Okay, so because both numbers, both numbers, okay, rounded up. Okay, to the next 10. You can say it, to the next 10 in both cases. Okay, as they both rounded up, of course, you're going to be overestimating the actual value. Okay, the actual value will be less than that amount. Okay, and there we have the end of question number one.